the time. And I went from, you know, doing 12 hour driving road days on the road to all of a sudden building computers, you know? And, yeah. And, uh, you know, now I'm doing something I really want to be doing, really passionate about. And, you know, it's, it's honestly a dream come true. We can all be in different places doing not the same stuff but similar but still excelling in our craft and 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 you know doing doing it doing it well being successful it's crazy it's crazy stuff man Upright GPU mount uh, application. We're actually going to be running a 240 FLT reservoir. Uh, it was tricky um, only because the bracket that the FLT comes with is not designed to be used in this application. And I was able to use the longer one and create a stud with that screw so that the way that this is mounts on the back is actually through the bolts and the nuts rather than screwing it in directly. Oh yeah, I mean, we'll probably, we'll, we'll hit this place up like once a month or something like that. It really depends on like how we're feeling. So my name is John Tetzloff. Um, I run Liquid House with my partner, Ellie and uh, we do content creation and PC building for various different companies around the world. I've been doing PC building since 2005, and that was, you know, just a necessity thing. Like, I, I wanted to build a PC, I wanted to play video games, you know, it's like a lot of people out there. And, you know, just over the years, just slowly, slowly getting more creative with my builds, always wanting to change it up, you know, I'm a, I'm a big car nut too, so, you know, a, a car passion behind that was another thing. It's like, you want to change it up all the time and do different stuff and, and have it look good, have it perform good, you know? And I would say the most things in my life it, that carries over, I always have to modify everything. Yeah. Oh, I know why. It's just one of those style bottles that, uh, has like a retractable tube, so it has to breathe by design. This actually is a beast card. It's it's funny though because it's a four slot card. When you go from something like this to something like that, the dimensions change drastically. So you have to work around what you're finding out once you get the block in and block the card. So like it's one thing to build with this, and you know props to people who figure out a way to make this look good and make this look clean obviously it looks awesome as is but to be able to fit you know a beast card like this in a rig it's tough it's tough and you know but that's that's part of the the challenge with really high performance parts like the 3080 ti is it makes a lot of heat So it's funny because I've had this conversation with other people and they're like, oh, I really like your style. And the funniest thing to me, from my perspective, obviously being different from everyone else's is I don't see my style the same way that other people see it. And, and every now and then I'll kind of drill down on someone in, in a way and be like, hey, just to be curious, what do you mean by my style? You know, because I would like to know what their perspective is.
I actually wanted to inverse that and have the bends coming into the hardware rather than into a dish row on the side. And so I had to think about placing essentially fittings on where they would go so that it could kind of flow in at an opposite angle. Because I mean, think about this whole build, everything is inverted as much as possible. You've got an inverted motherboard, you've got essentially an upright kind of inverted uh, GPU, might as well try and invert the tubing in terms of how it flows, how you normally see it. What I try and do is I try to make the most out of what, of what I can, what they give you out of the box, right? So like when, I'm, when I work with Yulebeast all the time, they, they make a really cool blank canvas that you can go in any way. And that's the best part about a, a case like that is like there's literally no wrong way to do it. Like with the Intel Crater, I literally flipped the Atlas II backwards, made it look cool. You know, like you can do that. You know, that's the cool thing. It's like there's no real wrong way to do any of this stuff. So if you wanted to get into this space, there's no real wrong way. And don't let that get you down or intimidate you because we're all trying to make cool stuff. Living out in Utah, so it's kind of like this for six months out of the year. Lots of snow, lots of cold, lots of wind. Uh, but honestly, it's perfect for like overclocking. Open up a window. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Open up a window. We got nice cold air coming in. This is a normal everyday thing. And you know, it's a good way to get away from everything take yeah, a break absolutely. from like the, the hustle and bustle of this tech industry you know especially working as a content creator you got to do everything yourself so 